Hello everyone, I am Dramat and I am here in Diamond 2, I guess, in a game against Talon. Now, what's different about this video is that I'm going to coach myself. I'm going to look over my mistakes in a game uh, rather than live commenting it and I'm going to see where I did wrong or I did good. This is, an, this is a good game of mine, I did fine and compared to others, uh, it's above average, so yeah. I will also do in some games in which I don't really play well, but not I don't think in this video, in the next one perhaps. And let's see how this works. Now I'm going to start. I'm against Talon on mid and having a really hard time controlling the camera. Right, there you go. Um, this guy is a Talon main and I just have to play rather defensive because early on Talon with Ignite can really really do a lot of damage to you. Now you're going to see what I mean in a second. Uh, just some basic farming right here. And now, he makes level 2, I try to poke with my Q. You should always, at early levels, poke with your Q as much as you can, especially if it's a melee, 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 I don't know how to pronounce that. And you're going to see he tries to engage, and he does that, and I lose a lot of HP now. He uh, uses Q again, I guess, and then he just ignites me. He thinks I'm going to die, but I have Biscuit, and I'm staying alive because of that. Now. Normally, you should recall here, but I'm a cocky motherfucker that, yeah. I could have actually gotten the kill here if I would have a better reaction at, at understanding that uh, E. I think it's E. I'm not sure. The spike. Ah, is it W? Let me... I played Talon. Ah, no, E is the jump. E is the wall jump. W is not spell. Anyway, let me just fast forward this until we get back to lane. You're going to notice some other map action, but rather boring. Uh, now, here I wasted my uh, flash and uh, exhaust and I told my jungler that, you should always do that. And now you're going to notice here that uh, Sejani is around and level 3 Sejani against Shivana doesn't really do much. Now, I'm getting here faster than Talon and I'm also poking Talon. So, I'm helping him, uh, her and then we got a kill. That was bad, uh, bad uh, counter jungling from uh, Sejuani, and if it was the opposite case, if Shivana was in their jungle and get caught, she would have probably died because Talon would have get would have reached her first. Now I'm doing some minor poking here. Uh, when you're using your combo, try to uh, position in such manner that he wouldn't be able to attack you if you throw in your E. I mean, use your E W combo, but push him. Towards the side, not towards you, not necessarily. You can push him in any direction in that E. Try to reach as many dots as you can and try to also stay aware uh, away from him. Now, here Talon does a mistake and wanders in this direction and then re-engages on me for no absolute reason and gives me a free kill. You should have just run here. And at level 3 he must have all his spells, I'm not understanding that. Uh, let me check actually, I think I can check. Yeah, he had all spells. He could just jump the wall. I don't know why he didn't do that. Now, until I come back to lane, let me check a little the farm. So, as you can see, I am 14 CS... No, 16 CS ahead. I can't do that at all. And now I'm going to put that back because it annoys me. I need to learn the... The hot, hot keys. Hot keys. How do you call that? Now, speeding up again to the mid lane. I am just doing random poke now. Now, I would have gotten another kill here if I was in them. I still practice my W's and if you watch that Korean uh, rank on Natalia rank one, he is not he's not rank one on server. I think he's on the top though. If you watch his playstyle, he hits almost all his W's because he knows how to predict the movements of the enemy champion and. That's really only the, the only way to practice that it's just in uh, ranked because there you get your best opponent. Now here you see a gank, a fail by Sejuani. Let me back that up because I've, do, I've done some uh, talking about that. Let me just jump back. And now here you can actually notice the Sejuani gank now. She failed because she missed everything, and here I had an opinion, a choice, not an opinion. I decided to push her instead of Talon because she was already in the tower range. Now you should always do that, especially if she misses her uh, CC spells. Uh, and I was surprised at this point, the, my team started to praise me for some reason, but I did nothing special, just threw a 
jungler in the tower. And this thing further escalated my uh, advantage towards this. And you're going to see here another mistake by Talon. See, he just jumped in uh, in uh, Talon, in Shivana. And now I decided not to use my wall here because I thought I could simply catch him here without uh, using and wasting that spell. I can use later that spell on bot lane. What I wanted to talk about. Uh, yeah, let me check again the scoreboard. As you can see, I'm 25 CS ahead. A uh, really strong advantage going for the GLP build. I like that more than the Moral build, especially now that the Q got nerfed. And as you can see, I'm for one. Now, uh, let me back that up. Uh, I think I'm going to leave this, even this, it's a bit in the... Actually, no, I hate it. Let's uh, speed up again to lane. Come in here, and then... I see there's an opportunity on bot lane for gank, and I just rush for it. As you can notice, the bot lane, without words, without anything... Actually, they had, I think, word, but now They failed, they uh, overextended, and here, uh, for some reason, instead of walking straight, Vayne just decided to turn up. This is Imod, I swear, this is not, not some silver game, this is not normal game. And now, as you can always kill bots, uh, if you can kill bots, then you can always take few dragons or few chalks. Now, for us, both of them are good. I think uh, free tower was a long shot because, yeah, we have three summons, I don't think we have enough time to actually down it. Anyway, this tower will drop first anyway, later. And now moving back to uh, mid lane, uh, a shit ton of harm here. But that's not what we're interested in. We're interested in uh, getting any more kills on Talon if possible, dodging more ganks and uh, doing more sub ganks anyway. Now, I notice Shivana is here, and that means we can set up another kill on Sejuani if she comes. So I have to uh, stay in that direction. But we can also roam bot lane from this point, and that's what we do. Uh, I simply ping her that we should go bot lane, and then we uh, I head to this uh, plant. And tell yeah, take this. And now we set up an extreme gang that no one ever thought about. Actually, a lot of people think about it, but yeah. I don't have my ultimate, but Tristana does. And we just walk that guard there and uh, try to get a kill. Blitzcrank is in this bush, but uh, that does not affect us. I get some damage, but it won't be enough. And uh, Vayne dies because she walks straight into my uh, E. And after this, I think we get the free tower. Let me just... Uh, Put it on fast forward. Talon does nothing. At this point, Talon should have roamed. Because, yeah, I know you're behind the farm, but rather have farm than. rather have uh, help. Ah, can't talk. Rather help your team than have that run the fuck. Uh, and uh, he also gave uh, Shivana free kill. But that's not important. Because, yeah, she almost killed him anyway. As a mid lane player, as a mid main, if you stick to mid lane, even if you lose, even if you win, you don't do any good. You should help your team in that. You should roam where the enemy roams, and you should always, always spam ping if you can't go there. But just farming, just leaving your team alone, won't help, won't necessarily help them. Um, now, let's move a little faster. I want to see if anything interesting goes on. Uh, I don't, I played this game some hours ago, I don't really remember it completely. I know what I've done, but uh, some uh, moments are still uh, in the dark. So yeah, I'm trying to talk about what I see mostly. Oh, right. <laughs> Here, uh, yeah, expecting Blitzcrank to be bought, I just thought, yeah, I could definitely defend this tower even against these two. But then uh, Blitzcrank also came and win my chances. And here, the, uh, my teammates got the top lane tower and killed. And on bot lane, I think they will die, I'm not sure. Yeah, uh, Sejuani will... Uh, they're going to be a little fail. Here, Tristana could have escaped. Could have saved both of them, actually. If he just uh, ultimated the Sejuani and escaped. Possibly could have escaped. Anyway, fast start to uh, new things. Here I'm helping getting more objectives and more advantage. I see talent, but uh, it doesn't really bother me because I'm way too strong at this point and exhaust up. 
no chance for them to actually do anything. As you can see on chat, uh, Infernal Drake is also spawning soon, which should be ours. And I ping here. We got the Void... Uh, I never remember that name, but we're not using that until we're actually getting to the uh, last mid lane tower. You're going to notice that we don't really need it, need it here because yeah, we could take this tower, can, but you can also take this tower if you pay a little attention. And uh, as you can see, we go in this bush knowing that they don't have words. I don't know why we said knowing, but yeah, uh, expecting to be no words there. And we just get free kills at this point. And after after that gank here, oh yeah, and this. Uh, after that gank we did on the bot lane. Uh, let's see Johnny ulted me. I'm, I should just stick to one idea. This gank, which with the help of the plant, just gave us enough advantage and you can see here. I need to focus on one idea. So, two things. The kills, the free kills we got on the mid and the... I never know the name. There you use it. There you go. And the uh, bot lane ganks. That, that changed the win condition for us. That just pushed us to the victory and helped us. Two ganks I didn't. The first one in this position when they had no words with uh, Shivana, and the second one we just walked to this. The mistake was for them, they didn't have any vision words either here or here. They didn't have. Even if they had words here, that would have been useless because they were here and they couldn't run this way because, we could, you know, we could catch them in any direction. And uh, Talon didn't do much either to help them. He was behind, but even when you're behind, as I said, as a mid lane player, if you're an assassin and losing, you have to try to help your team somehow. You have to assassinate. That's your main purpose. It's no other way. If I remember correctly, here Shivana tries to steal. I'm not sure if she does. No, she's mighty before. And I think she escaped. Yeah, she escapes here. But yeah, let's go to more important stuff fast perhaps let me just slow it down so you can also see the scoreboard one second so I'm at 94 CS 7 kills and uh, I am uh, ahead of Talon with 20 CS that's not really relevant because I did a lot of roaming and so the advantage is on my team actually the vein farmed very very well compared to the enemy team and compared to our son and the uh, Fiora is also winning top because uh, Shimana did some great ganks when the enemy team had the advantage on the bot lane when they uh, pushed there and or killed me. Shimana killed uh, the opponent as you can see, as you've seen actually. I'm going to minimize the scoreboard again. Now we're just going for the free inhibitor here. Uh, as, uh, as I said, the game was pretty much over by the point by that point where we ganked and now. Uh, they tried to uh, do a flank on us, but the perfect Tyreek ult will just stop any any damage towards us. And now Tristana gets a kill here, and Talon will come from behind. I tried to stop Talon, but he kills anyway. Tristana, as I remember, yeah. But uh, yeah, I said that. And then we just uh, take the inhibitor, and as I notice, only Fiora, uh, not Fiora, only uh, the enemy Sijuani comes up at the respawn queue so I simply go there and put a wall in a second you'll notice just right as she uses the, her dash and then I'm just going to press finish on this game we're just all attack I think like madman the nexus like because I want to finish as quickly as possible and there we go there we win 70 minutes 17 minutes win a very quick one and I guess that's just about it. Some few takeaways as we can get on this one. Just play as defensive as you can early against assassins, against Zed, Talon. Now when their uh, damage point is, as exam for example, Talon when level 2, he can jump on you and use Q to deal a shit ton of damage combined with his, uh, I don't know, shurikens or whatever are that. Against uh, well, the assassins like Zed, you can uh, Always expect him level 3 or level 6 to full engage on you, especially Talon level 6 because he has ult, but Zed, yeah, also. Any assassin basically that enables him at 6 
like most of assassins are enabled by their level 6 spells, will jump on you and you have to keep your exhaust for that, you have to try to put them in tower, just flush away. For most assassins you'll get ganked early on by Sejuani, by anyone with CC, by Zac, by whatever jungle with CC. And they will try to remove your flash. If they remove your flash, you are in deep trouble because later on the enemy assassin already has an advantage over you with his flash. In this case, you just have to play extremely careful. I did play as careful as I can, as I could. Tried to get an early kill here, as you remember. But the main thing was on bot lane. I'm sorry for the big victories because I don't know how to back from that. Actually, I think I can remove it. I'm curious. Scoreboard. No scoreboard. Fine. Anyway. Hmm. I'm going to just pause it. So, I'd say the key moments for this game, let me close this, are not here, are the random kills on the Sejuani, you know the kill I did here, the kills on uh, Talon which fed me so I could roam, but really the most important moments are around here. When I just randomly walk bot lane, uh, I want to see if they actually had words. Let me just put the all. As you can see, their wording is just this, just here. That's not enough. That's simply not enough. I think I trapped Shivana there. But yeah, one of the key moments is here. We got Drake and some damage on tower but that wasn't enough and the second key moment it's shortly after where uh, I went in a quest with Shivana uh, let me just show you the pathing this plant sorry for my bad skills this plant here just gave us enough momentum look as I said there is a word but it's not enough they have no idea they think we're in a, their jungle but they don't know exactly where and having two words didn't help him either you had excellent patching. This game is not really dodgeable if you don't have some jungle pressure or some vision words that against the mid champion with that roams are are supposed to be put either here or here or here. Any zone. You have to keep this zone worth it. And, and I don't tell Blitzcrank to work there. No. Talon has to buy a word for that. And I have to clear these words, obviously. But yeah, this is the main point where the game ends basically for them. It's, the score is 11 to 1. We have first star, we have first Drake. Yeah, we'll, we're going to get first star here, I think. Or somewhere, but. Or on top. I don't remember. Anyway, we get that too. Yeah, this is a mistake here. But it doesn't matter. As you can notice, they got like how many? Like 5 kills. Did they get any more? 6. 6 kills. That's I think that's all they get. This is basically a perfect game by us. Besides some that mistake on mid lane by Shivana and the level 1 suicide, no level 1, that dive where I could have gotten away, this is pretty much a perfect game. Now, I really like to talk about this and I'm going to make more videos, if you like it please, if you like it, please like, <laughs> share if you can, subscribe if you like my content I guess, and see you next time. I'm going to make some videos in which I also do bad and kind of ashamed by my games. I had three games today in which two I sucked and one I played like God, this one. But yeah, it happens to everyone. I have lag, I have brain parts, I am tired sometimes. The trick is just to play when you feel perfect, when you feel the most good, how can I say that? When you feel better than any other moment in the day, I guess. When your energy spikes are good and when you don't have a random headache, when you don't have lag, that's the best moment to play. And you should also get in a game with a good mentality. In this game, after two loses, I just took a break, one hour break, and then went into this and said, I'm going to try. I'm just going to try. Do my best. I don't care if I win, I don't care if I lose, I'm going to play as good as I can. And this is the result. I also had a good jungler. Now, if you don't really have a good jungler, that's a harder concept to grasp, to a, a game, to a harder game to grasp. But um, I actually, this game told my jungler that level 3 Sejani might gank me. So I said, come, just come and try to help. He didn't necessarily come, but he was around all the time. He didn't gang me because you don't really have a gang power until 6 as, as uh, Shivana. 
But yeah, he caught the name jungler and followed me in ganks, so it was perfect. Anyway, talk to your junglers, try to see how it works. Write in a comment if it works. <laughs> Tell me how you do, and I'll try to help you back by answering questions and doing this kind of videos, which I guess will help anyone, everyone, me included. So, see you next time, guys. Goodbye.